Hi Transformers! To have a successful acting career, you must be committed to becoming a lifelong learner. So today we are talking about the four levels of learning. I'm covering this today because I want you to feel more empowered the next time you feel stuck in your career or feel like you, you can't do something well enough or just take a peek at these and know that the things that are new to you might take a little getting used to. And it is just a part of the learning process and something that is new in your actor journey. Away we go. So the four levels of learning. <laughs> we have unconscious incompetence, conscious incompetence, conscious competence, and unconscious competence. <laughs> I know this stuff might seem pretty darn analytical already, but stay with me to the end of the video because the more that you know about what's going on inside of your brain and with your emotions, the further ahead you can get with your career. So sometimes when a part of your acting career feels like a struggle, really it's just that you're just in the process of learning something new or maybe you need to learn something new or gain a new skill or you're just experiencing growing pains and that is 100% 100 expected and you're going to get through it. It's just a part of learning. So learning is a process. There is a reason that certain things sometimes might take you a while to get used to or to learn. And everyone learns different things at different paces, even within each of these four levels. So you might be wondering, why? what does this have to do with acting? And um, this does apply to everybody in life. So it's not just for actors, but I want to make this actor friendly when we're talking about it here. So... Uh, how does this show up in your acting career? So let's let's break these down a little bit. Unconscious incompetence is basically you don't know what you don't know. So when people start dreaming about becoming an actor, this career from the outside often looks super easy and fun and glamorous. And being an actor would just mean that you just get to act. <laughs> in exchange, Hollywood gives you fame and fortune. That's what it kind of looks like from the outside, right? So this is what I call the Entertainment Tonight Syndrome. In the media, this is when newly famous people appear to be overnight successes. And in the beginning, brand new actors or people who aren't in the industry at all um, just don't understand all the work and all the endless details that are required for a successful acting career. So many believe they're just going to go and be a good actor. And maybe, yeah, they'll take some classes and go on auditions and get an agent, uh, but that those actions would immediately result in them having a career. And that's not usually the case. So being a good, talented, skilled actor is really kind of just the beginning. Um, there's even something in the world of psychology called the Dunning-Kruger effect, which refers to the tendency of poor performers to overestimate their abilities relative to other people. And interestingly enough, high performers often underestimate their abilities <laughs> because maybe because they know so much, there's so many pieces of that puzzle. So I find that terribly interesting. Um, unconscious incompetence, when you don't know what you don't know, it's not just for beginners either. So it's not even a bad thing. It's just anytime we're learning something new, this can happen on all levels of all humans and all actors. So actually one of the most dangerous mindsets an experienced professional actor can have sometimes is when they start to believe that they do know everything because they don't. It's impossible to know everything. Um, let me give you a couple examples here. Um, so unconscious incompetence, when you don't know what you don't know. they often use as an example when talking about these four levels, they use what do you do when you're learning how to drive, right? So in the beginning, when you're a baby or a young kid in the backseat of a car, you don't even know, you don't even know what's going on. You're like, you just 
mom or dad puts you in a, a little chair and you roll around in a box and wheels and you end up somewhere else, <laughs> if, if you even know that when you're a baby. <laughs> um, but as we know, there's a lot more to the world of driving. On the craft side of the business, the acting business, it might be, oh, I can have a, I'm going to be famous like in a year. I'm going to give it a year. You hear that a lot. I'm going to give it a year means you don't know what you don't know. Okay. Um, or maybe someone's not cut out for this job because they're thinking that they'll be famous and rich within a year and that's what they're after and they're not really here to be an actor, a real actor. <laughs> um, on the business side of an acting career, it might be, oh, I'll just get some classes and headshots and an agent and then I'll be rich and famous, right? So again, you don't know what you don't know. Um, those are just the beginning. In reality, at the beginning phases, they might not be aware that there are just thousands of pieces to the acting career puzzle. Uh, but that's just phase one. So phase two is conscious incompetence. That's when, and I know incompetence has like a negative connotation. It, it's really, it's not negative. It's just that now at level two, you know that you don't know something. That's all it is. You, you know that you need to learn something. This part can feel a bit yucky. And when you're taking on new challenges, you might start to get into a state of overwhelm or feeling frustrated, but you're really just in this phase of learning. It's all, it's all okay. You know, there are many examples of things that might start out feeling awkward the first time that you do it. Uh, here are just a couple actor things. Like, remember the first time that you ever got a headshot? You didn't know how to do headshots, right? Breaking down a script. You won't know how to do that until you're taught how to do that. Memorizing lines is something interesting because we always start from scratch. No matter how advanced you are, the first time you get your lines, you're starting from scratch. So you, you know you don't know the lines yet until you learn them. Um, getting an agent, if, you have, if you've never done it, or even if you haven't done it in a long time or it's a new kind of agent or whatever, you know that you have things that you need to learn. Social media is really interesting because... Boy, it changes. Doesn't it feel like it changes every day? So there's always new algorithms or new things to learn or they add a new feature. So that's kind of never ending. Um, pitching, uh, IMDB. IMDB is a good example because a lot of actors come to me for help with their IMDB. And once you kind of start to realize the tip of the IMDB iceberg, you're like, oh, wow. No, maybe I can't, you know, maybe I do need to get help with this because it's much, much bigger than most people realize. But when you start to realize how many steps there are and how many great ways that you can use it to your advantage in your career, then it's, it's a good idea to get help with it. Um, interviews, same thing. You know, nobody is born knowing how to do an interview or get on a red carpet or network with industry professionals. Um, the first time you're on a set, even a tiny set when you're a beginner, but then when you get on a big scary set, it's exciting and wonderful, but there are things that you need to know how to do and where to go and who to talk to and, you know, protocols. There's all kinds of things to learn. So again, these can feel intimidating, especially the first time and even when the stakes get higher and higher. Um, I find this interesting. Uh, so again, this is not just for beginners. So advanced actors, every time we are working on a new character or learning new lines from scratch, or even something new is invented on social media, we are in this phase. And it's a healthy process. So here we've got quotes from... Einstein and Socrates. Uh, Einstein was quoted as saying, the more I learn, the more I realize how much I don't know. Right? Can we relate? Uh, Socrates said, apparently, I wasn't there, but uh, he, I know that I know nothing. <laughs> and these were pretty smart dudes, I think it's fair to say. So 
it's important to set aside any ego when learning something new too. You're not, there's no reason you should know how to do it if you haven't done it before. Uh, so our examples for conscious incompetence, when you know you don't know how to do something, might be like the first time you learn how to drive a stick shift. It's a little wacky, right? That's that's how I learned how to drive a car, was on a stick. And it's, uh, you know, there's a lot to think about. In addition to driving laws and, hey, don't hit that car and all, <laughs> all the other stuff. Um, the craft side of acting, when you start to realize that you don't know how to do something, might be when you're learning a new skill. Or let's say you're going from a beginning acting class to you now got to the advanced master class and you're now in with busy working professional actors, that becomes a different thing. Um, the business side of the business, you start to get a hint of how there is so much to learn all the time. <laughs> uh, and that's okay. I want you to have peace with that because it's part of what makes our job so exciting, right? is it's never boring. There's always room to grow. There's always new fun things to learn and ways to improve yourself. That's one of the reasons why it's a good life, you know? Um, so social media, I think, is really interesting because, you know, people get really frustrated with things that are online, like IMDb or social media, uh, but you're not supposed to know how to do it. Okay, there's a misconception that you should just be magically knowing where the buttons are. No, you won't know how to do something until you learn how to do it. Okay, uh, the next phase, conscious competence. That is when you're aware and you can do something with effort. So this might be like... Uh, when you feel competent enough to go on auditions, you've done many of them before, you, you know how to act, you know how to be on set, uh, but it, it still is taking quite a bit of effort. Something like maybe up, updating your IMDb or posting on social media might still take a lot of thought and effort. And these scenarios can you know, be different for everybody too. But once you have experience under your belt and you have enough skill to problem solve many things that come your way, then, then things aren't quite as scary anymore. Um, you are consciously competent. So examples, if we're talking about the, the car again, is now you're a great driver and you're aware that you're driving. <laughs> Okay, so you're paying real close attention to the stop sign and the lights and other people around you and you're saying you're using your turn signal, all that. Um, the craft might be knowing you know your lines and you have a solid technique. On the business side of acting, it might be you are moving forward with your career with effort, but you're now doing some marketing and you're now learning uh, you have a better understanding of all the things that you can work on, but you're feeling solid in certain areas. Um, unconscious competence. Okay, so this is the step in the learning process when you now can do something skillfully without even thinking about it. So this is when you are in the zone and can say, hey, man, I got this. Um Examples, if we're using the driving scenario here, then driving, have you ever been where you, you're just used to driving to work every day or to uh, your friend's house or wherever, and then all of a sudden it's like a half hour later and you arrived and you don't know what happened with the last half hour. Uh, so you, you now have driven somewhere without having to think too hard. Like, I'm not saying you're texting or, you know, doing your mascara or anything, but you now have the skill where it's basically, you know that you turn, do your turn signal, you turn, it's all, all of a sudden you realize, oh, wow, yeah, I, I, I'm at work. I find that interesting. Um, this could also be a good example from life is when you are 
finally fluent in a new language or you feel very competent in playing an instrument that you can just, you know, just do it without having to look at notes. Um, on the business side of that, I'm sorry, on the craft side of the acting business, it might be when you know your lines in your sleep. Have you ever had where you maybe have a monologue that you learned 10 years ago and you still know it, even though you haven't needed it in years? Uh, that means it's really deep in your memory. Um, you can also maybe improvise your character because you know your character so well. Or if they give you lines, if they change your lines when you're on set, you, it doesn't cause a problem because you really, really know them. Not just surface level know them. You really know your lines inside and out. Um, and on the business side, it might be you're running your acting career now like a real business with support and coaching and structures and habit. You know, it really makes a difference when you have a set plan for your career and your life. You know, so this could include anything and everything from submissions to regularly meeting with your business coach, like me, um, uh, doing your follow-up thank yous, doing automating some of your career. There are certain things that you can automate. Um, having a consistent social media as a habit, you know, as, as opposed to a drudgery. <laughs> it's just, you just do it. It's just a part of your life and your business. Um, though that's when you're unconsciously competent. Um, so let's quick review here so you can see them next to each other. So unconscious incompetence is when you don't know what you don't know. Conscious incompetence is when you understand that you don't know something. Conscious competence is when you are aware and are competent with effort. And unconscious competence is when it's a habit. And that you, you really don't even have to think about it anymore. Okay? So in the comments below, let me know something that you have learned in your career or in your life. That's fine too. In your life that you can recognize these four phases of learning. Like did you learn a new language, an instrument, uh, it, it really any time you memorize your lines that you really, really knew them. Um, had you learned, a good example is learning how to dance salsa right? At first you have to learn the steps, but then at a certain point you just go to the club and your partner spins you around and you don't have to think about all the, where your feet are going or with the beat or anything. It just happens as a habit. Um, so did you learn how to maybe produce a video and now can easily repeat the process? So knowing that all of this is a natural process to go through these four phases of learning will hopefully make the next challenge in your career just a little bit easier and maybe even, dare I say, fun. <laughs> so you can also post below, like, what's the next thing that you want to learn? I would love to know what you want to learn next in your acting career. Okay, so I hope this helps and makes you feel a little bit better that the next time you learn something in your career, it's just a part of the process. <laughs> um, please do subscribe. Uh, so you know that you are a part of this community, hit the subscribe button and also uh, hit the, uh, the little bell. Hit the little bell so that you know when our next video is and when it's available. And check out some of our other videos on this channel right now. I hope you enjoyed this. Break legs and happy learning.